everyone, this is Bethany from Southern Couture and I'm excited to be here with something um, different and new so you're getting to see who's behind the videos every week and instead of just seeing my hands and my Bible or my desk and whatever I'm working on at the time. So today I want to talk to you guys about some changes that have been happening between Day Spring and Illustrated Faith with the devotional kits each month. So every month um, we are used to having a devotional kit to work through in our journaling Bibles or in a journal with um, Illustrated Faith and Day Spring having it together. And so now um, they are going to split for the devotional kits and Illustrated Faith will have their own kit and then Day Spring will also have their own kit. So um, even though change is hard, I'm not one that loves change at all. Um, I think it's gonna work out good because it gives us some options, some choices, and some new and fun things. But with any kind of change, it's always scary and there's lots of questions that um, need to be answered, I guess. So. I have some questions that I got from you guys. You told me some things that you were kind of curious about with the changes, and so I wanna go over those today and kind of tell you also what my plans are moving forward with um, these changes. So, we are going to now, like I said, have a kit from Dayspring, and they will sell it on dayspring.com, and then Illustrated Faith is gonna have their kit, and it will be on illustratedfaith.com. So, I am still going to be doing videos and lots of process videos and things like that using the kits um, and I'm excited to just see kind of where this goes um, with the changes. So with Day Spring, their next kit is going to be um, focusing on the women of the Bible and they are going to have this in a kit of a series of three, sort of like what we did before with Revival Camp um, toward the end of last year. They are going to do the same sort of thing with the women of the Bible for the next three months. So that's fun, I think, because we will have the kits to um, really coordinate and um, build upon each other. And so if you like doing that and collecting all the kits, it's great. The products that will be in the kits, I'm assuming you'll be able to kind of use those with the other kits as well. Um, so you're getting a little more bang for your buck in that way. And also, um, if you don't get all three kits, it's still great because they do stand alone as well. Now with Illustrated Faith, um, their kit this next month is going to be, um, I believe it's Mark Makers, and uh, our Mark Maker, and so that kit um, is going to be, you know, like you're used to seeing from Sean and Will and Illustrated Faith. It is the same type of aesthetic with the, um, a lot of the artistic markings and um, artistic, you know, style that we're used to and um, so that's still going to be a lot of fun. You're just going to have options now. Um, so I do want to focus on a few of the questions now that you guys asked so I make sure that I get everything covered. Um, we talked about the contents of what's going to be in each of those kits. You are going to also see some of the similar type of products in the kits with washi tape, with the clear stamps, die cuts, tabs, um, stickers, all of those fun things that all of us love and are used to using in our Bibles, you're still going to get those types of things. Um, as far as price goes, the price for the Illustrated Faith kit, I'm not exactly sure on the exact price at the moment. I apologize for that. As soon as I know, I will update in the description down below, but the um, price I'm sure is probably going to stay around the same um, price point that you're used to seeing and then for the day spring kit the price is going to be $24.99 so we're still staying around that same kind of price point that we have been um, so you don't have to worry about any of that you know just skyrocketing now with the changes and then someone also asked a really good question about do we need to resubmit new um, newsletter to get the new newsletters on the updates and the answer to that is you're still going to um, be able to find out about the kits from Dayspring and Illustrated Faith if you're subscribed to their newsletters. But here's what you do need to do. I'm gonna have links down below in the description for you to check out because with Illustrated Faith, they and Dayspring, but Illustrated Faith is going to have a total separate newsletter list that you can subscribe to. And whenever their kit is launching, um, you are going to be one of the first ones to get that email and um, it will let you know that they're available. So you'll be one of the very first ones. And then later, they're going to send out their regular newsletter to everyone else, letting them know that the kits are available then. So I would definitely sign up for the newsletter. So if you wanna be um, one of the first ones to grab it, if they were to sell out, you might, wouldn't have to worry about that. So I'll leave a link down below for their newsletter. And then also, Dayspring has a newsletter as well that you can subscribe to so that you will get just a specific email letting you know if there's any updates or changes with the new kit 
it and also to let you know um, when the kit becomes available as well. So I always think it's fun just to have that little email there. You'll be the first ones to grab the kit anyways. And um, so head over, the links are down below in my description. Now, and then someone else asked the question, who is heading the day spring kits? And I'm assuming they're asking kind of who's behind the writings and the, de um, the whole design of, and feel of the kit. And that would be people that work for day spring, that work with the Encourage community because these first um, kit and then like I said the next two after it are focusing on the women of the Bible so they have partnered with the Encourage community and I know you guys have seen me talk about their stuff before um, there's an Encourage Bible that just released not long ago and so I'm gonna be sharing more and more about the whole Encourage aspect of the kit in some um, upcoming videos but Yes, they are kind of the ones that are behind it, that have helped design it. They have people from that community that have helped to write the devotionals. And so I think you're really going to enjoy it. It is going to have a Bible study type feel. Um, instead of just having one main topic, like I said, it's women of the Bible. So we're gonna be going through the entire Bible, focusing on about, I believe, seven or eight, maybe more women of the Bible and um, using the Encourage Bible to do so. Um, you don't have to have that Bible to um, do the kit, of course, but um, it's gonna be a great component to go together. And um, so those writers that have been in the Bible will also be, um, the devotionals in the Bible will be uh, the writers of the kit. So um, I believe that kind of covers where things are going to go with the kits. I do want to mention one thing though, that Illustrated Faith is not just completely cutting ties with Dayspring. This is just one change that they have decided to do. Shauna has decided to bring the kits back to um, Illustrated Faith. And I think that's wonderful that she is, um, you know, following her heart and doing what she feels loved to do. And so it's just kind of scary to change sometimes. But the fun and great thing is, is that Shauna is still working with Dayspring. They still have lots of goodies. There are over 200 Illustrated Faith products that Dayspring sells, including washi tape and stickers and um, the paper die cuts and paper pieces and paper pads and just all the fun things that we're used to having from them. They're still gonna be selling those and also um, her books. So we've been working through 100 Days of Grace and Gratitude right now. We did her first 100 Days book last year. Uh, she just released the workbook guide to Bible journaling. All of those things are still at Dayspring and still available for you to get. So no worries, those are not going anywhere and they'll still be a lot of fun for us to have. So I do want to finish off the video and just let you know kind of what my plans are moving forward with the changes and what you can expect to see. I am still working close with Dayspring. I do enjoy working with them. Um, just some great people over there with a big heart to get this kit into your hands and get you into the word. And so I'm gonna still continue doing unboxings, hopefully some more process videos showing you ways that I'm using the kit. I think this month, since we're focusing on women of the Bible and using the Encourage Bible, you're going to see me also showing you some new techniques of not just having to use your traditional you know, journaling Bible with the page and then the margin that you can work in. Um, I will be working in the Illustrating Bible, which has those extra large margins, but I also wanna show you some new ideas for using the um, kits in the Encourage Bible where you only have just a very minimal amount of space at the bottom and how that can be done with little mini entries. So that should be fun. And then I'll also be showing you how I'm going to be using Shauna's kit. And so I'm excited to show that. I would love to show an unboxing of that, what all you would be getting in the kits, um, because I know so many of us love them. We've been enjoying them for so long, and I want you still to know what you would be getting in those kits um, and also how I would be working through them. Um, my plan is hopefully in both kits, I would love to take the devotionals and put them into a traveler's notebook um, for day springs. They are gonna be on the cards and I hope to put that in a traveler's notebook size. And then the devotional for um, Illustrated Fates kit is going to be in a traveler's notebook already, which is a lot of fun. That's something they did a long time ago and I bring them back. So I'm hoping to put both of those into my little leather book and having them, you know, 
where I could take them with me on the go. I love being able to um, have day springs that will continue for the next few months and keep a Bible study going and then having the little devotional topics um, from Illustrated Faith as well. So those are the things you can kind of expect to see from me coming up in the next few weeks. I'm excited. At first, change was so terrifying for me. I was like, what are we going to do? Because we're so used to having that one kit with both of them. Um, but this is going to really be, I think, a great thing to focus on two different things. You can choose which kits you want. You could change it up each month. You could get both kits and just kind of go from there and see, um, you know, where your heart is leading you and where God's wanting you to get into the Word. So if you have any questions at all, I'm more than happy to answer those. And as I know more and more updates come out, I will try to update the description as well. Um, just look for me also over on Instagram where I will be updating a lot more there as well. All of the links to the newsletters that I mentioned so you can get the latest and updated information from Dayspring and Illustrated Faith are in the description down below. And um, also, I will um, have a link down there to um, my blog where you will also find more information about the um, kits and unboxings and um, how I'm using them in the coming weeks. So, thank you guys so much again for all your support. And um, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel so you can get the latest updates on when I will have these um, other videos coming out. And I will see you guys again very soon. Thank you again. Bye-bye.